Earlier, when we talk about the event handler, our example are all using the button. So that's we say that action event. So your source object, we our example, we using only button as a source object. So they will have the action event. So this one we will talk about more in the next chapter. So in order to create the action event, not only button can can have that. So your radio button, check box, combo box, they all create, they all trigger the action but uh, action event. But this video I want to talk about the other two events is the mouse event and the key event. So most the action event the source object came from the button, including the control box, your radio button, or the combo box. But here we call they have the other thing is input event. So this input event is came from your mouse click or your keyboard enter. So if the mouse click, they will have the mouse event create. For the keyboard, of course, they are key event. They all inherited from the event object. And from the event object, actually, they can get the source information. What do I mean source information? For the mouse event, you can get a source for which button they click and how many click. For the key event, you can get a source to know what key they press. So that's why later we will see when we're using the mouse event and the key event, actually we kind of need to know those information. But before that, we see how the mouse event and key event will respond for the handler. So here is show all different source object and what kind of event they will trigger. So then how should we add or register the event handler to the source object? So this one, like earlier, we show you for the button or the text field or the radio button checkbox, combo box we will talk about next week. They all trigger the action event. To register the event handler to those source object, you just need to do the set on action. So that's one type of event. But sometimes if you have your mouse will create like the user action actually you press the mouse, release mouse or click the mouse, they will create trigger the mouse event. But what is the source object? So actually your source object is not really a button. They could be a button, but mostly they are not really a button. They can be any note. So what is the note? For example, actually shape is one kind of note. So on the other hand, you can have a square there. So you say the mouse touch or get into the square region. You want to display some information. So they can be the source object, just one shape. Or you can be the whole GUI, the whole scene. So you open this GUI as long as the mouse in this scene area. So then their different action can trigger the mouse event. So your mouse event, actually the most important thing is how you want to handle, right? So because different user action so that's why we have different set on mouse method to register the event handler. So they have press, release, click, enter, or exit. So here you will see the register still event handler, but the act the event is called mouse event. So the same thing, sometimes when you have your key press, right? So how they will respond, that's within a note or in the scene. 
So then, this kind of event is we call key event. So the key can be press, can be release, can be type. So that's why you need to use different register method to register your event handler. So that's the key event. Remember, I may not be able to answer your question, but anytime you can post the video and write down your question. So you can either post your question in the discussion or during our Zoom meeting. So the next one we will see what we should do. And the first thing I want to show you, sometimes we need some information from the mouse event and the key event. So the first thing we see the mouse event. So the mouse event is fired whenever a mouse can be pressed, release, click, move, or drag. So that's why here they all create a mouse event. So from this mouse event, actually they have many important information we need. Because sometimes I need to know there are right button click or left button click. I need to know how many click, right? Because you know double click or single click, you do different. You will handle differently. And sometimes because mouse move, right? So then we can get where the mouse location is. So we will get X and Y coordinate. So then here you will have that for the source, event source node. So sometimes you can according to the screen. Uh, so what's different between these two? Remember, this X and Y, usually we will work on the window in our GUI. But sometimes if we want to get for the whole screen, you also can do that. Okay. And also sometimes your mouse will associate with different key. Uh, so that's why they have those key we can check as well. So that's the mouse event. So sometimes we need those information to know how we will do our implement our event handler. So here, like earlier, we say, even now you only see your mouse button only have the left and the right. But before actually we have mouse, we have the right click, left click, and also we have the middle one for the click as well. So when you get the button, so they give you some constant value here. So the primary, for example, when you get the button, if the button equal to the mouse button dot primary, uh, so the primary is left click. Secondary is the right click. So then you have the middle click. Okay, so that's how you can compare your mouse button click. Next one, let's see the key event. So a key event, of course, the most important thing you want to get which key you enter. But when you get the character, because they will return you the string, so that means they can only be A to Z, 1 to 0, or they can be special key. But sometimes, remember, we have some other key in our keyboard as well, like the F1 or some control key. So that's why for some special key, it's better we're using the get code. So what is the get code? Actually, this one we use most. So the get code, actually your key code constant like this. So you can see that's all for the special key. Uh, so sometimes you want to have up and down, left and right to respond to your GUI. So for those non-character, key it's better you compare the key code so how to compare the key code so your key code is the class dot the constant value so you can using the e is your key event so you get the code so they will return which code they are so after we understand the key event and the mouse event Actually, the example I want to show you is let's come back to our control circle example. So earlier we have the circle in the center, so then we can use the buttons to enlarge or shrink our circle. But now we will add more. 
So we will add the mouse control. When I do the left click, actually I can enlarge the circle. But the right click, I will shrink the circle. And also using the key control, I using the U to enlarge the circle and D to decrement the circle radius. So we can see this example I just changed. Uh, our title become control circle and with the mouse and the key. You still allowed to use the button. But here if I left click, I can enlarge my circle. Right click, I can shrink the radius. So using the U key. Using the U key, I can enlarge the circle. Or the D, I can shrink the circle. So how should we change our implementation from earlier? So we need to think about how we will register our mouse event. Like earlier, like earlier we say we are doing the click, right? So that's why in order to register your mouse event, so we will see earlier from our table because we will do the click. So that's why you need to register set on mouse click on using this method to register your event. So our key is we press. So we're using this method to register our event. But we register using this method to which source object. So that's why you can decide. You want to do the node or scene. So that's why here in our GUI, right? Okay. If you decide you click, you move your mouse everywhere, they can do the right click to enlarge or shrink so that's why you need to register to this scene but you also can decide your mouse need to move inside the circle so then you need to register to the circle so that's all up to you but here since we feel like we don't need to have our mouse to within the circle so that's why we register to our scene so that's why here you will see when uh, when we want to Regist our event. Uh, so we will do that after the GUI display. So then here, yeah, we're using the set on um, mouse click. So we register to what? We register to the whole GUI, right? So that's why you're using that circle pen. Okay. So we're using that circle pen to set on um, mouse click. But I need to know right or left right because if that's a left click i will using the enlarge so if that right click i will call shrink method like earlier so here we use the lambda expression my lambda expression my event actually even here is mouse event but e actually mean that's just the variable so the variable we still using the e so then we have the arrow so the whole process is we think how should I handle that event. So to get the button, I using the E to mouse event to get the button. So if that's a left click, I enlarge the circle. So on the other hand, if that's right click, I will shrink the circle. So this one is handle your mouse event. So similar to the key event, so you will register the same thing you register into your circle pen. So then when you have your key code equal to the U, you will enlarge. So if that D, you will shrink your circle. So the only one thing is we never talked about before. Since every time your circle after your circle pen being handled that event, right? Uh, so the most important thing, how can they respond to the mouse and the key? That's because your circle ads, they are all keep the focus. So that's why you have at this one circle pen that requests focus. Because every time after you handle the mouse event or key event, the source object need to request the focus. 